Hi, Carmel Presbyterian Church. Peter Barnes here. It is great to be back from vacation with my family. We have 15 people in one big beach house on the coast of North Carolina, and you know what it's like to be with families. A little chaos, a little drama, and a whole lot of laughter and fun. We had a great time, but it's so good to be back here with my church family at Carmel Prez. You know, we're coming to the end of a sermon series that we've been looking at called Becoming the Church That Jesus Longs For. And we've only got a couple of more sermons left in that series. And someone asked me if the congregation was going to mark the end of this series in a way for us to commit to becoming the kind of church that we have been discussing. And it seems to me that making some kind of congregational covenant would be a great way to express that. The elders recently have adopted a leadership covenant that will guide them in their work together. The staff also has approved and embraced a staff covenant to guide them. And so as we celebrate the end of this sermon series, I'm going to offer you an opportunity to sign a congregational covenant which affirms the various mutuality commands that we've been discussing to love one another, to serve one another, to submit to one another, to comfort one another, and so forth. And as we think about doing this, you won't be asked to, to turn this covenant in. It's something that's between you and God. But I'm gonna encourage you to take it home and to put it somewhere, like in your Bible or on your bathroom mirror, to be a, a reminder to you on a regular basis of the ways in which we want everyone to pledge that they will do their part to help CPC become the church that Jesus longs for. This Sunday, I'm gonna be preaching on the, one of the more difficult mutuality commands, and that is admonish one another. And I'd appreciate your prayers as I work on that message. And I look forward to seeing you Sunday. One more thing before we go, and that is to say that Courtney McLaughlin is going to be coming as our new interim assistant pastor. And she shows up on September, or excuse me, on July the 1st, coming up right around the corner. And she and her husband, Jim, are going to be living in the church manse that has been, is being renovated, but it's not going to be ready by July the 1st. And so if you have a back house or you know of a place that she might be able to, to use or even to rent on a short-term basis, that would be really great. And please contact me or anyone here at the church office. We'd love to put them in touch with Courtney. May God bless you richly. And I thank you for the ways in which you are such an encouragement to me. You take care now.